From the curtain hanging on a window to a fully clothed, entirely CG character, cloth in CGI can be a complex challenge and tricky to get right. And despite the use of some similar software, these fabrics aren't being cut and styled by an up-and-coming streetwear designer fresh out of a New York Fashion Institute. They're created by highly talented and overly caffeinated VFX artists. In many cases, for cloth to be believable, it needs to run through many steps, and often, many artists. As with most 3D assets, it first needs to be modeled, then textured, and shaded, and finally simulated in order to move in a convincing way. Let's jump into the different techniques used by masterful VFX artists to craft these visual threads. We'll explore the softwares being used, what a day in the life of a 3D character artist looks like, and what the future has in store for 3D fabric and clothing. I'll also provide some really useful resources and links in the description below to help you become a proper CGI seamstress, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. So there are three major steps involved in creating a successful garment, modeling, shading, and simulation. There are other factors that can help sell the illusion of cloth and fabric, but these three are ultimately the most important. There are typically two approaches to modeling clothes, either box modeling and sculpting it, or simulating the cloth fold. And in all honesty, in most cases, a combination of both is required. 